In this lesson, we are going to talk about the angle of inclination. So what you do is the following. Let's say you have a line and let's call this line AB. Now, let's say the gradient of this line is 2. Then you can work out the angle that it is forming with the horizontal. The horizontal is any line that is completely flat, like the x-axis. You can work out that angle by using tan. You know, like sin, cos, and tan? Well, tan has this amazing property where you can get the angle if you know the gradient. So if this gradient is 2, then what you would do is you would say shift tan of 2. And that would be 63.43 degrees. So what that means is that this angle is 63.43 degrees. Of course, if we wanted to find this angle over here, then you would just say 180 minus that answer. Now, if they give you the equation of the line instead, which they often will do, then just remember that the gradient is the number in front of the x because of y equals to mx plus c. And once you have the gradient, then you can get the angle. You can also use the angle to work out the gradient. So what you would do now is you would simply say tan 70 and that would be 2,75. So what that means is that the gradient of this line would be 2.75. Now when we have a negative gradient we need to be careful. So let's say for example this gradient is negative 3. Then what you do is the following. You'd leave out the negative on the calculator so you'll just say shift tan of 3. Shift tan of 3 and that would give you 71.57 if we round to two decimals. Now you've got to ask yourself, is that this angle or is that this angle? Well, it's obviously the smaller one. So that means that this smaller one is 71.53. And to work out this one, you would say 180 minus 71.53, which would be 108.47. Something I haven't mentioned yet, angle of inclination is always, and I mean always, the angle on the right. Okay, so it's always the one on the right hand side. So the angle of inclination of this line is 108.47. Now we're going to practice some examples. So in the next examples, I would like you to try and calculate the angle theta. So for this first one, we can see that this line has, the grade, has a gradient of 4. So all that you do is you say shift tan 4 on your calculator, and that'll be this angle over here, which is 75.96 degrees. Here's quite an interesting one. I've put theta in a very random place. So what we can do is the following. We know that the gradient of this line is 3. So we can work out the angle of inclination. But you must remember that the angle of inclination is always relative to a horizontal line. There is no horizontal line over here. Where do we see a horizontal line? Well, we can see a horizontal line over here. So if we use shift tan of 3, that would give us 71.57. That would be this angle over here. Then what you do is you say that this angle is also 71.57 because of vertically opposite angles. I'll just write that over here. Then we know that this angle is 90 degrees because that's where the x and the y axis cross. Then what we can do is we can work out this angle by using the sum of angles in a triangle. So you could say 180 minus 90 minus 71.57 because of sum angles triangle. And that would find we'd find that that angle is equal to 18.43 degrees. We could then say that that angle is the same as theta because of vertically opposite angles. Here's an interesting one. They want us to calculate theta, which is up at the top, and then they've given us the equations of these two lines. So this first line over here, this blue or this blue equation, the gradient is negative two. Now remember what we said earlier, don't put the negative on the calculator. Rather say shift tan of 2, which is going to be 63.43 degrees. Now, which one of these two 
do you think is going to be 63.43? Well, of course, it's going to be this one over here. So that would be 63.43 degrees. That is not an inclination angle, by the way, because remember, we said that if they ever ask you to find an angle of inclination, then it's always the one on the right. But then does that mean we need to find it in this scenario? No, because we're not trying to find the angle of inclination in this question. We're trying to find theta. So you don't always have to find the angle of inclination. You just need to find whichever angle is going to help you. But if they ask you for angle of inclination specifically, then it's the one on the right. So just remember that. Now, guys, you need to be careful with this equation over here. The gradient is not 6. But Kevin, that's in front of the x. Yes, guys, but the equation of a straight line is y equals to mx plus c. Notice the y is alone. You can't have a number in the front here. So what we do is we divide everything by 3. And so y is equal to 2x plus 3. So the, the 2 is what we're going to use. So you say shift tan of 2, and that's 63.43 degrees. Now, would that be this one or this one? Well, that would be the one on the right. You can see that, 63.43 degrees. Now, all of a sudden, we have a triangle. And so we can use the triangle to find theta. So we can say that theta is 180 minus 63.43 minus another 63.43 and the reason for this is some angles triangle and so theta is going to be 53.14 degrees.